few days ago, Capcom came out and said uh, they were planning an all-out offensive for E3. Some people took that as a all-out Resident Evil offensive. Other people are saying, no, it's just Capcom. They could be showing several different Capcom games. It's not necessarily Resident Evil related. I happen to think that they were speaking about Resident Evil because, while well, it's the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil this year. They've been treating it that way, and it's kind of a big deal. So I have a hunch that Capcom is going to go really big this year, and they might just drop a few bombs that, uh, I don't know if I could say they're going to steal E3 this year, but I really think they've got something special lined up. There are a few things we can be sure of. They're going to have Umbrella Core there. People are going to be able to play it. The game comes out shortly after E3. The CGI film, I fully expect a trailer for, for that. Something Resident Evil 2 remake related, whether it's screenshots, even concept art. Uh, I, I like to think that they're past that and they should be able to show us some gameplay. But who knows? Resident Evil 7 is kind of iffy. There's people saying, oh yeah, it's going to show us Resident Evil 7. I don't know. Maybe. If they were doing something really quiet. But uh, that's really stretching things thin. Capcom would have had to really go all out on, on all fronts getting developers. And it would make sense. Uh, Outbreak starting to make a lot more sense uh, for outsourcing to Kriazen to help them make that. And an indie studio. But I'm going to get into that in a second. But um, wow. If if they're really coming forward with all of this, they've been working really hard in the shadows, and uh, they've got a lot of people in their corner. I think that they're really taking this serious. Obviously, it's the 20th anniversary. They were looking at bankruptcy not that long ago. They know that Resident Evil is one of their most popular titles, so they're definitely not going to lay down on this one. They're coming out swinging, and I fully expect to see a really good presentation from them now. In terms of Outbreak HD, that is something that makes even more sense now, guys. Every every time I take a look at a Outbreak HD, and I know there's some people that get pissed at me for the videos I've made about this, but every time I look at it, it just makes more and more sense. Because if they're going to do something like this and bring out all of these games all at once in a movie and be like, bam, fucking Resident Evil, the year of Resident Evil, if they're going to do that, Obviously, they're going to need help wherever they can get it. So it's really it's it's not too far fetched for them to take a look at somebody who's making the spiritual successor to Outbreak and then saying, "Hey, maybe you should just work on Outbreak." It, it, that's not that far fetched if you think about it. And I've had people argue that with me. They've said, "Why would they put this in the hands of an unproven studio?" Well, Outbreak really doesn't mean that much to them. I hate to break it to you guys, but that's the truth. Outbreak really doesn't mean that much. The, the fact that they're bringing it back, I think, is, is just kind of fan service, and, and they're going to try to see how it goes. Uh, they want to show the fans that they're listening, and they're bringing back the classics. They want to please their older fan base. They know there's not a huge fan base for Outbreak. Let's be honest, uh, it wasn't a very popular game. I love it to pieces, don't get me wrong, but it just really it wasn't anything like Resident Evil 4 or 2 or anything main, like the, any main game in the series or anything along those lines so passing it off to them it seems like something that was just like whatever they they can handle this all they really needed to do was just bring it up to hd uh, just increase the resolution and, and get the server code working again that's really all they had to do basically they passed off the restoration project to the indie developers and uh they put their more skilled devs and in-house developers on the more important stuff. Can we all agree that that makes sense? Probably not. If I post this to the Resident Evil subreddit, I'm sure there's going to be people that disagree. There's, there's a few people over there that just really fucking hate me for doing these Outbreak videos. This is not one of those videos, but I'm even mentioning... Just mentioning it over there is like painting a target on your head. But, I don't know, uh, recently... I think people are coming more more and more around to the thought that, yeah, this might actually be legit. Taking a look at everything that I've put forth. Uh, I don't see anybody else out here doing this. And I'm going to say this once again. It took balls for me to come out and show people this stuff. Because if it blows up in my face and, and HD outbreak isn't a thing, I'm going to be a giant fucking asshole to everyone. 
So when E3 rolls around, if HD Outbreak is announced, you bet your fucking ass I'm going to be gloating, and you bet your ass a few people are going to catch the middle finger. Now, it's it's something that's, uh, you know, I don't want to be too extreme with it because I can understand the skepticism. Some people have gone, like, overboard with the, with just hating on me for, for coming forward with any of this evidence. But, uh, yeah, obviously the highlight for me would be HD uh, Outbreak. Uh, Resident Evil 2, definitely looking forward to that as well, but there isn't really as much hinged on that. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not personally on the line for that. Uh, if they come out with that and it's an action shooter and they're doing the over-the-shoulder over the shit, yeah, it's really going to piss me off. I've said this before and I'm going to say it again because some people really don't seem to understand this. I'm grateful for every view that I get. I want to put that out there. And, and my Resident Evil videos have really taken off. But I get a lot of people that come in and, and curse me out because of my idea of what this remake should be. It's Resident Evil 2 Remake. It, it's, it's not a complete remastering of the series. It's a remake. It needs to stay faithful to the source material. If this is a over-the-shoulder shooter, guys, it's going to completely change the dynamic. First of all, Resident Evil 2 was in closed quarters, the, like the whole fucking game, okay? And doing that in a over-the-shoulder perspective, it's going to make everything feel much smaller. It's going to be much more difficult uh, to, to navigate through that kind of shit. Uh, how, are, how are you going to even... I, just, I can't even imagine it. You'd have to have more enemies. It completely changes everything. The health system, the, the ammo system... It, it just, it's, it's, I don't know. It, it's, imagine Resident Evil 4 over Resident Evil 2. It just, it doesn't seem to me like that that would be a good game. It's not, you know. Resident Evil 4 has got wide open spaces and all of these different areas that are much larger. You would have to completely change Resident Evil 2, guys, to make it over the shoulder and make it work. And I maintain, at that point, why? Just why even fucking bother? Make it a completely different game. But I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. Uh, it's uh, it's awesome, even if you guys argue with me. It, it's really cool to see all of the interaction that I get over these Resident Evil videos. Uh, so I have to thank everybody who leaves a comment. I do read them. Uh, you know, even the troll comments and the people that cuss me out. If you're somebody who does that, you're probably not going to be around for, for long if you can't be civilized. But uh, I don't mind people sharing their thoughts. Uh, I have been kind of aggressive lately towards people who want to change Resident Evil 2 into a shooter. Uh, mostly the guys that swear at me and call me names. But as I stated, please let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section. Hold the phone. Don't go away yet, guys. This is a little bit of an update. Truth be told, the commentary on this video is about a day or two old now. I just got word that Resident Evil 7 is going to be going back to its roots. Uh, they've said this before, so it's something that you have to take with a grain of salt. But uh, this time, I tend to believe that. Mostly because I think they really got burned with Resident Evil 6. The sales were okay, but uh, it, it did not get a very good critical response. And also, Resident Evil Remake did really well. And now Resident Evil Zero is up to over 800,000 copies sold. That is very good news for classic Resident Evil fans. We are representing out there. Evidently, one of the gentlemen who was working on PT and Metal Gear Solid 5 has been hired by Capcom and is working on this project. So this is, this is pretty interesting. So just imagine this. Imagine Capcom swoops in and takes one of these guys away from uh, Konami or a former Konami employee who was working with them takes him and actually utilizes him and makes an outstanding Resident Evil 7 that brings the series back to where it needs to be. What kind of a slap in the face would that be to Konami? That That's, I mean, Konami already done fucked up. We all know that. Silent Hills could have been amazing. They dropped the ball and now they're making fucking pachinko machines or whatever the hell they're doing over there. I don't know, but if Capcom stepped in and took this rebound and scores with it, I'm going to be very happy, guys. Nevertheless, this E3 is going to be amazing. I am a huge Square Enix fan, and I am a huge Capcom fan. They're pretty much my two favorite developers, and uh, it looks like we're going to be seeing some really good stuff over the next couple of years from both of them. So what I was saying earlier in this video about Capcom having a really good presence at E3, I think we can pretty much bank on that. This is definitely going to be the year of Resident Evil. If it's not, I'm going to be really surprised.
So with that, I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. I know I dropped a lot of bombs on you guys just now, but let me know what you think about all of this. I always like to hear from you, and these videos have been taking off, so please get vocal down there. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate it thumbs up. If you're new here, I ask that you please subscribe. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Mm.